Welcome back to another Python tutorial. And today we're going to be writing a program that asks the user for a number, and then we're going to ask the user for another number to divide the first number by, and we're going to divide it three times. So if the user enters 1,000 as the first number and 2 as the second number, it's going to be 1,000 divided by 2, which would be 500. 500 divided by the 2, which would give us a 250. 250 divided by the 2, which would give us the 125. So the first thing we need to do, we need to have like uh, variables. So you can say user number. That's just a variable. I name it could be anything. Equals int. Be int input. So we're asking the user to enter a number, and then whatever they enter is going to be stored in user num. So we could pretty much copy and paste this and just change the name of the variable. We could call it a div because we want the user number to store the 1000 and we want to divide the 1000 by the 2. And the, we could have div stored, store the 2 because we're going to divide the user num by div, which is short for like just division. These numbers, these variables could be whatever. And then so we could say user num equals user num and we're going to be using floor division because we don't want any like um any fractions or whatever user num equals user num divided by divided by div so if you're coming from like a math class this may look weird but in like programming this works so the first number let's say they enter a thousand so we have a thousand inside of user num so we're gonna have user num divided by div which would have two which would then store 500 inside of user num so we could say print and we can put user number in there and then I'm out of space so the numbers aren't clumped up next to each other and then we, we could say end equals empty space so like it doesn't put on a, on a new line so there's the first one and in order to just do it again we can literally copy and paste it and then I'll explain how it works so we had a 1000 in here 1000 divided by 2 which would give us five it would give us 500 we have 500 in there now we print 500 uh, separated by a space because they're going to be on the same line. We don't want them to be all like clumped up. And this line of, and then right here, end equals like empty space because we don't want like it. We don't want it to be on a separate line. And now we have 500 in here, 500 divided by 2. It was the 250. We print the 250. We don't want an empty space. We don't want it. On, we want it on the same line. 250 divided by, by 2, which would be 125. 125 goes in here. And then we print out the user num, which would be 125. We want an empty space so that the numbers aren't next to each other. And we want it on the same line. And if we run this, it's going to ask us for two numbers. So we're going to have it like the output. So we could say 1,000 for the first number, and then two for the second. And then we'll have 500, 250, and then 125. And if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe.